Hi guys, I'm Dr. Malik, and I'm going to be giving you a de demo of the Pulse Navigation platform that we have here at the Disc Surgery Center. What this platform allows us to do is use some reflective markers to give us a three-dimensional image of the patient's anatomy that then allows us to place different types of implants, screws, artificial discs, that kind of stuff into a patient with improved accuracy and that allows us to um, perform more high acuity complex cases in an outpatient center. The basics of how the platform works are there are reflective markers that are placed on the patient themselves and on the instruments that we're using. We'll start first by placing a reference frame on the patient and then using an x-ray to take some images that the computer will then assemble into a three-dimensional model, which you can see behind me here. What that allows us to do is we'll take some instruments that also have some reflective markers that are picked up by the camera and that allows us to place it on the patient even before we've made an incision and to see exactly where in the spine we are going to be and this helps us with not only planning our incisions but choosing the appropriate size of the implants and uh, all the other things that we need to take into account when we're doing surgery. Now this setup is for a fusion surgery, but we also can use this in artificial disc replacements, in tumor surgeries, or anything revision where a lot of our normal bony anatomy has been taken away from us, and we need this to be able to tell us exactly where in three dimensions we are. So the first thing we'll usually do is we'll start by taking this and placing it on a patient's skin and getting the right trajectory that we want for that screw, which you can see behind me here. That then allows us to put a projection of the screw on the instrument, which you can see there. And that allows us to know exactly what diameter and what length of screw would fit perfectly this patient's anatomy. After that, what the surgeon will do is then mark the skin and we'll use this microscope to get ourselves down to the spine. And then that allows the operating room team to get the screws ready that will go into the spine, which look exactly like this. And once we get the screw down to that exact spot, you can see as the tip of the screw enters the hole that we've prepped, it'll show up on the screen here. And then as we advance the screw in, you can see on the screen behind me there, we can see exactly where that screw is going. There's no guessing your interpretation of x-ray images during the surgery. This gives us real-time feedback of exactly where it's going and allows the surgeon to place it very accurately. The reason that's important is because when we're placing these screws, as you can see that this area right here is where the nerves live. So if that screw thread comes through that area and into that nerve canal, those patients will have to come back to have that revised because it will give them leg pain. So this will lead to less and less revision surgeries. Prior to having this technology, what we'd have to do is use an x-ray machine that would be here over the patient. And we'd have to take some x-ray images as we put the screw in to know exactly where it was in space and then check it again to make sure that it was not in an area where it'd be irritating any of their nerves. The advantage of having this is we don't have to take extra x-ray images, which limits the radiation to everybody in the operating room. And it tells me exactly in three dimensions where that screw is going, which is very helpful in patients that have abnormal anatomy. Some patients, because of their spinal pathology, their spine is twisted in an odd way. And placing those screws can be extra challenging when you don't have this type of three-dimensional navigation. Some of the things that the Pulse Navigation platform are gonna allow us to see once the uh, uh, reference arrays and the instruments are in there is you will be able to see a couple things. This view is a view of the patient, like as if they're cut like a sushi roll. So it's a cross-sectional view. But what you'll see here is this center part here that's where the nerve canal is that's where all the nerves running down to you in this case it's your lumbar spine so it's going to be the nerves that are running down to your butt and legs are going to be and as you can see each vertebrae has these channels called pedicles that are bony channels where if we have to fuse the spine or change the shape of the spine or brace it in some way it gives us an opportunity to put these screws down the length of that bone and get a good bite on it so if we have to change it and open up some space for the nerves that we can do that what this allows us to do is know exactly in three dimensions exactly where that screw is going on this view and on this profile shot and be able to plan those screws even before the first screw goes in it lets us measure the length and diameter of those screws and if there's any question after we've change the shape of the spine and we want to check things, we can always bring the platform back in for another acquisition of images and see what it looks like before and after to make sure that we've accomplished the goal. The reason that's important is this, this type of navigation will let us take cases that were traditionally done in a hospital and be able to navigate those more uh, intricate high acuity cases out to the outpatient surgery center.